Hey YouTube, this is Sergeant Blockbuster, and today I got a quick video. Um, it's kind of cool, it's a cool trick I figured out of how to do something which was, for years, some may even say decades, was deemed impossible on computers, which is to type the question mark in a file name. So here we have a file name, right? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I have the on-screen keyboard so you guys can see clearly what's going on. Um, if you're typing something, this, and it's kind of annoying, if you're typing something, what is happening? Question mark. You see? Uh, when you try to type the question mark, it says a file name can't contain any of the following characters, and question mark is one of those characters. However, I'm about to teach you how to get around it. Okay, so there's two easy ways to do this. It's, it's, I'm going to show you the trick your way first. Get that out the way. Uh, right click your desktop, hit personalize, go to the search and type language. Now you click change keyboards and other input languages, change keyboards, and then that you can add Japanese. I have Japanese added already because it's easy for, if you know how to type in Japanese it's useful. Uh, in order to add the uh, Japanese keyboard, um, you can click add here and scroll down and then you can just select it. Um, there's a lot of different keyboards and languages as you can see. But you just select Japanese, add it to your computer. Next up, you gotta click on this first to make sure it's your uh, computer is like registering that's where it needs to be. Uh, you'll start off on English like this, but click the EN in the bottom uh, right hand corner of your desktop, switch it to Japanese, and specifically you have to click the input mode and go, and go to full width alphanumeric right here. Click that, and now the moment you've all been waiting for, what people have thought for years to be impossible, shift, question mark, bam. Question mark in the file name, and as you can see, Windows is not telling me to stop I can save it as you can see um, and let's just switch back to the English question mark just to verify and it still says it's impossible but oh shoot I did it, it th that's the one that's the most complicated of the two easy ways which is to add Japanese to your computer um, if you have Japanese already added to your computer this is gonna be a lot easier the second easy way is what I'm going to try to do in the description of this video, I'm going to copy and paste this question mark, so then just copy and paste it from the description of my video onto your file name. So in that way, you don't have to go through all this. So yeah, there you have it, how to type a question mark in the file name of a Windows file. I'm really excited I figured this out because there's many a time I've found myself trying to type a file name and thought like damn I just wish I could type a question mark but now we can thank you guys for watching that quick video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys later